Shari Shalom. This is your brother Lahab coming at you again with a quick sit down, quick little lesson. And uh, first and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving infinite honor and infinite glory to the Most High and His Son and their true Hebrew names, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kodesh. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who pushed his truth 100%. And peace and blessings to the Akim of under the elders pushing the same truth in all faith, sincerity, and diligence. Shalom. And today I'm going to entitle this video of You Have to Be Taught, man. You have to be taught this truth. Because, um, you know, you got people out there, you know, that think they can just get their own interpretations of the scriptures. Say, I feel like this is... I feel like this is this and this is that, you know, but you know, that's wrong, man, you know, and, and the scriptures speak against that, you know, the Lord sets up, the Lord sets up, uh, people, people under people, I mean, Salaki, the Lord sets up people above you, you know what I'm saying, to teach you, man, you know, but yeah, like I was saying, man, um, the Lord sets up people Sets up older brothers above uh, uh, above you to uh, to teach you this truth, man. You know you can't you can't learn this thing by yourself. You know, I got a scripture. You know, yeah, I'm gonna start off with this one. This is a uh, this is Second Peter. Yeah, Second Peter, chapter one, verse twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't just take it upon yourself, man, to uh, to think you you know what the scriptures is talking about, man. You're going to be going off, man. You know, you can't pull that shit where, uh, oh, I feel like in my heart that this means this. You can't do that, man. That's your own private interpretation of it. And the scripture just said, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures is of any private interpretation, man. It's not. You know, thus says the Lord, thus says the scriptures. You know, the Lord has to set someone up, set a pastor up for you to be taught this, man. You know, straight like that. Can't go to oh well I feel like it's it means this, or I feel like it's saying this. You know what I'm saying? Or it it I think it means this. You know you you can't do that, man. You have to have someone to teach you this, man. Just like just like someone taught me, man. You know, and someone is still teaching me. You know, just and so on and so forth, man. You know, all the way up into the elders, man. How the elders teaching uh brothers. You know, and it's getting back down to the, the, the younger brothers, man. You know, the Lord, the Lord set them up to be that teacher, to be that pastor, man. You know, you, you're going off, man. If you think, if you think you teaching yourself, man, that ain't how, that ain't how you, that ain't how it's go, it's like it, that ain't how it go. You know? It says, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. According to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You know, pastors according to the Lord's heart, man. According to the Lord's mind, man. You know what I'm saying? He sets up the pastors for you, man. You have to be taught this thing, man. And it says... Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. They're going to feed you. They're going to teach you the truth, man. The truth of the scriptures. They're going to teach you the true doctrine, man. Give you the true understanding. You know? Someone has to teach it to you. You can't just think. You can't just think you, uh... You... You can't just think you know what it's talking about, man. It don't work like that. You know? It don't, it don't work like that, man. No, you have to get taught this, man. The Lord sets people up for a reason. He sets heads of the camp up for a reason, man. You know? The Lord does all these things for a reason. You know 
what I'm saying? And and, and 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 when you start learning this thing, man, you have to put everything off, man. You know, you, you got to come back refreshed, man. Re, uh, born again, man. You know, as a baby. You know what I'm saying? To 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 uh to take in the meat, man. Because you can't just start taking in the, the meat of... So like you got to to take in the the milk, man. You can't just start taking in the uh the meat of the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? You it's, you got to take baby steps with this thing, man. Let me see. This is uh this is Second Peter chapter two verse two. It says it says as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. You know what I'm saying? So you you gotta be you you gotta be baby you gotta be a you gotta turn into a baby man and desire this milk man this sincere milk and which the sincere milk is these scriptures man. You know what I'm saying? The ba the basics of the scriptures. You know? Like knowing who you are, man, and, and, and knowing your heritage and you know, knowing how you got over here, you know what I'm saying, knowing the Lord's name and stuff like that, man. That's the basics, man. The the sincere milk, man. And someone has to teach it to you. You're not gonna just find all this out by yourself, man. Nine times out of ten someone then told you about this and, and, and you would you were taught it, man. You know? I got another one. If I can find it, it just came to me. It just popped in my head. I think it's Isaiah. Slaki of Israel. Yeah, here we go, right here. Slaki. This is uh this is Isaiah chapter twenty eight verse nine. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the the milk and drawn from the breast, man. You know? You know, that's that's you that's how you, you gotta be a, you that's how you gotta be, Salaki. You gotta be a baby, man. To get to, in order to get taught this, man, you gotta you gotta you gotta refer back to being a baby, man. You have to be an empty canvas, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be an empty canvas in order to get this, man. And you have to be taught this. So somebody coming up to you talking about some oh, man, you know, I read the scriptures and and I feel like this and I feel like no, man. First of all, you're going off, man. You know, cause you gotta you gotta know that the Lord sets up men to teach you this truth, man. Let me see, I got another scripture just that just came to my mind. Uh, hold on. Damn it, it just. Damn, it just slipped my mind too. Oh well, and yeah, man. But uh, but yeah, man. You got you have to you have to be taught this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? You you have to, the Lord sets people up for you to be taught, for you to learn this thing, man. He sets men up, man. Damn, man. I just had a scripture too. It just left my mind. Just remembered it. Hold on. Damn, man.
Now I can't even find it. Oh well, I'm gonna just go to this one then. I'ma just go to this one. Salakia. This is uh this is Jeremiah uh chapter seventeen verse verse uh verse nine. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know what I'm saying? Cause that's why you have to get taught this thing, man, because your heart your your heart is deceitful, man, and desperately wicked. You know what I'm saying? Which is your mind. So what you you thinking you understanding the scriptures by yourself without any help from any from brothers, man, you going off, man. You know what I'm saying? You going off. And I wish I could find that other scripture. But it eluded me. But it'll be alright. Um But yeah, um But uh but yeah, man, you you have to get taught this thing, man. You have to uh, the Lord sets up men to teach this truth, man. You know? And um but yeah, with that, man, hope, hopefully this little session was edifying. And um, I want to give infinite honor, infinite glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim up under the elders pushing the same truth and faith and sincerity, man. Shalom.